The Blue Blouse Group was established in Russia after the Bolshevik Revolution of 1917 to create living performance events that integrated music, theater, and dance to express the social and political views of the working class people. They traveled widely, performing under any conditions, defining new methodologies of performance making. Described as a living newspaper, actors derived inspiration from music hall reviews, circus acts, and fairground shows, but used them to forge a form of theater that expressed the reality of revolutionary social life through the body. By 1928, the movement was ordered to concentrate on propagating the party line, and after 1930, they were mandated specifically to Stalin's ideologies. The group disbanded, but not before they had a far-reaching effect on the future avant-garde theater in countries ranging from America to China. The Blue Blouse Group was very much interested in creating a new form of theater. So if I take that as my inspiration, a new form of dance dealing with the physicality of today, the first section of music I chose is really about the traveling. I, I, I hear trains in it. I hear that feeling of traveling. And so a lot of the movements are sliding, uh, moving, shifting across stage, stage and through space. And then the second movement to me is very much about the telling of the news and in this sort of strong and direct way coming across, this is what we believe in now and this is what we want you to believe with us and think about these ideas. And so that's how I came into the studio. I had also created many of the ideas of the movement, but it was really very much about seeing these dancers, seeing these movers, and pulling from them what they could do. They're fantastic dancers, so if I could do uh, something extra, something a little more than I had imagined, I wanted to choose to be able to do that in the moment. And also taking what they've already done and shifting it a little more off-center, sh getting them to push sort of beyond, not so much on their legs, but how, what's this idea of traveling in the body? It's about going beyond the expectation, going beyond those points of balance, so how to constantly move with that intention. So in the studio, that it was about discovering that. I knew we were going to perform with audiences on three sides, how to refocus that, and I imagine that's how the performances were. You know, audiences were probably completely surrounding the performers standing, and so I liked that idea of creating a dance that spoke to all directions, and again, that pulls out the idea of, um, you know, speaking to anybody around you, to the whole crowds.